How's it going, everyone? I want to do the Leatherman Crunch versus the Leatherman Arc, the new Leatherman Arc. Haven't seen a video on this yet, so let's get into it. Uh, the Crunch is locking pliers, very lightweight. Uh, Leatherman hasn't been selling them on their site for a while. Um, it's not discontinued yet, they didn't say. So it's lightweight. It does not come with a pocket clip. This one does. Um, I believe it comes in at 110. 109.95 or so when Leatherman was selling it. Let's get a weight on it, see what it weighs. Let's see here. It's pretty light. You got 7.065 ounces. So that's pretty light. And the Leatherman Arc coming in at 8.756 ounces. So there is a difference there. Uh, sheaths, it came with this sheath just a regular sheath um black and you got nylon on the back um there's no velcro or anything there's no additional you know carry storage carry as you will uh this was an extra the night eyes clip was like an extra five bucks five or six bucks uh it's just 3m tape but it works really really good so you got that the arc coming in at 229.99 I know expensive, um, but it's got the free body, so it's completely different. You got the magnet cut steel. Um, that's where it's unique, the magnet cut steel with the thumb stud. I think that's awesome. Um, I got to work on that still, but look at that magnet cut. It's beautiful. Magnet cut steel there. Uh, corrosion resistance is amazing on this. Uh, edge retention as well. And uh, it's one of the best knives you got. That's all I have to say. So you got that. The Leatherman Arc versus the Leatherman um, Crunch. Now, on the Arc, you got, you know, bit accessories if you want. There's 18 that it comes with. Then you can put extensions on each side if you wanted to. And there's the different bits you can use. And there's a little uh, convenient storage there. So that's pretty cool. But this is one of the most expensive uh, multi-tools that Leatherman has to offer is the Leatherman Arc. Um, I'm actually surprised. I thought it would be 189 but it was not. So you got the crunch. The crunch is different because you got the locking pliers, which I can open one-handed. Uh, some people can, some people can't. Depends who you are. So I love the, uh, the crunch because... You got locking pliers, like I said. So you can just, you know, loosen this as much as you want. This one was in warranty. If you haven't seen my video yet on the warranty of this, um, I actually messed up the teeth on this. But you can actually put, you know, hexagonal bits on here that extend, um, which is awesome, and use that if you need to. But as you tighten this, the, the nut, it tightens this and it tightens this it closes basically the uh the locking pliers as you go in very very useful tool uh it goes about one inch in in uh around a pipe if you need to so you can do a lot um you have uh wire cutters here not interchangeable you have a wire stripper here as well you can see there and you have, let me just fan it out. This is kind of a pain to fan out, to be honest. Not the easiest. There we go. Such a nice day out. All right, you got a file with kind of a flat screwdriver here. So you got a file, very small file, and you have a file down here. You have a bottle opener, can opener. Actually, this is just the... Uh, what is this? The bottle opener, I guess you would call it. With a flat screwdriver there. Everything locks too, which is cool. Oop. I don't want to cut myself. Then you have a... Um, it's kind of like a 2D, 3D screwdriver. I love that. And then here you have just a flat screwdriver. And here you have the nice serrated blade. A Leatherman hooked me up. They fixed this tool. I sent it really cheap. I think it was around 10 bucks. I love this tool. One of my favorites. 
very lightweight like you saw seven ounces um fun to do i mean i can close it one hand if i wanted to so one hand operation except for the tools inside uh you do have a ruler here as well on one side so that's pretty cool and you can use this as you know hexagonal bits if you want so you can take this out and put bits regular bits on it uh this pocket clip has been great for me um i don't use the sheath but if you like sheaths that's fine here we go the magna cut uh best blade you get a better blade on uh you know the leatherman arc obviously um you can flick it one handed if you get good at it to open it up you got a thumb stud so that's cool this side you have a scissors if you need scissors go with the arc i guess very nice or you can go with something cheaper you got a nice saw this does not have a saw the crunch very easy to deploy and you know do there's the uh file you got a diamond coated file which the crunch does not have and a metal file this does have that small metal file we saw and then you have a file down here i think you can this is almost a file right here it's very gritty so maybe you could use it maybe not and then what else am i missing we talked about the saw here we go so you got the uh you know bit exchanger if you want like i was saying before it kind of moves it has some movement not a big deal i don't think and then here you have a bottle opener can opener combo on this side you have an awl and a wire stripper so that's cool you have a um kind of a mini bit driver as you will i love that and you have a flat screwdriver tip i like the shape of it like i said before and you have a bottle opener they kind of are repetitive with the bottle opener um the shape is really nice i mean i like the free with the magnets you can open it one hand it's pretty fun you got wire crimpers here pocket clip is way better than this it's screwed on so that's good uh you got a wire stripper i mean a wire cutter here interchangeable you got nice pliers non-locking though so if you need to lock on pipes if you're like a plumber or something this is where it's at the leatherman crunch this comes in at 229 though and this is one 109 or 119 something like that uh when leatherman brings it back you can use this as a hammer surface so that's pretty cool. Pound some stakes in. Uh, one thing you're missing on the arc that I didn't talk about is that I didn't see is the, uh, let me see if I can get to it. You can see that in there. Oh, that's hard to get to. Here we go. It's kind of hidden. Oop. Let me see if I can get to it. Yeah, it's kind of hidden on the, uh, The crunch you got a lanyard i never use lanyards but if you need a lanyard you have it on the uh you know on the arc you do not have a lanyard um that i see of maybe you do maybe you don't i don't see it no i don't see it but let's just compare the files just for ha-has look at that you get such a much bigger file with that over the crunch i mean over the um what is it called yeah the crunch i thought it was mr crunch it's just the crunch but you get diamond code it this is just a metal file you got a crisscross file here and then just a straight file and then a file down here but it's just a little stub on the crunch as opposed to the uh arc i think the arc's fun though to just open and close this is fun too to open and close um just it's just up to your needs though um i mean this is more of a premium tool i would say but this is still a premium tool i mean i love the crunch i love just fidgeting with it it's so fun 
and opening it one handed. It's got kind of a knuckle to get in there. Um, but this thing is has proven reliability and I would not trade it for anything. I got two of them. I got two of these crunches because I love it so much. You're missing a ruler on the arc. That's one thing to note. But I thought it'd be a fun comparison between the two. So I just wanted to do Leatherman Crunch versus Leatherman Arc. Um, obviously, you know, the Crunch, I think, is more uh, unique, I would say. Just because you got locking pliers, you can open it one inch. I think that's awesome. Um, for the size and compactness, I think it's awesome as well. Um, just very, very fun to use. And taking this bed out and putting, you know, 3D bits if you need to. I think that's great. Um, the size wise, it's it's pretty light, I would say. I mean, I've carried this a couple times or a while now and it's been fine. Um, just very proven uh, reliability. This, I'm not sure of yet. We haven't really used it and tested it. Uh, like I said in my review, kind of my short term review, um, you can see like kind of scratches and scuffs if you're nervous about that just because of the stainless steel. Uh, I wish the black was more rubbery. That's just me uh, or textured because it's very slippery. I feel like I'm going to drop it. Um, another negative is the, the bit driver. I'm just a little nervous about that because it has some give. That's just me though. And uh, I'm not really sure what that retention is for, like we talked about before. But I like the file. I wish it came with serrated blade. It does not. Uh, so, well, the, thanks guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to do a comparison between the Leatherman Crunch and the Leatherman Arc. Uh, let me know which one you like better. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a great week. Take care and hope you subscribe.